Hello, it's Professor Fiore. In this sequence of videos, we're going to be looking at semiconductor devices. So that includes things like diodes, bipolar transistors, field effect devices. Applications are things like rectifiers, small signal amplifiers, power amplifiers. This sequence of videos is designed to supplement my free OER textbook, and you can find that at mvcc.edu jfiori. So this is the landing page for my site. Come down here to this free books link. And here's a listing of all the free OER texts that I've created. And right here we can see the semiconductor devices text. Of course, you can use any text uh, that, that you like, but um, they do line up in terms of the topic presentation. So this text is available as a PDF, as an open document text. Or if you click on this link, this will take you off to Amazon for a low cost print soft cover version, if you will. Um, this is in eight and a half by 11 format. The print version is black and white, although the uh, PDF and ODT are color. There is a laboratory manual that goes along with it. Take a quick look at this. So there's uh, over two dozen exercises here, starting at basic diodes, working through rectifiers, LEDs, DC biasing of transistors, small signal amplifiers, power amps, FET devices. So as I said, these are eight and a half by 11, so you can print off various sections of them if you're interested in doing so. Let's take a look at the topics here in our text. We will be starting off with uh, basic atomic structure with crystals, silicon, moving into PN junctions, the basis of our diodes, diode applications such as rectification and regulation. Then we move into the bipolar junction transistor, look at DC biasing, amplifier concepts, small signal bipolar amplifiers. Then we move into uh, power amplifiers, class A and class B power amplifiers. So examples would be um, say an amplifier in your home, your car, a guitar amplifier. Then we look at junction field effect transistors and then MOS field effect transistors, class D switching power amplifiers and insulated gate bipolars. Now, this text winds up being over uh, 400 pages. And uh, as we go through here, you will see that there are sort of live links to various things lots of uh, diagrams. At the end of every chapter, let me just zip down here real quick, like, um, at the end of every, every chapter, you will find a series of problems. Okay, so we have uh, analysis problems here, and challenge problems, computer simulation problems, design problems. Um, how many there are depends on the chapter. So some chapters have a considerable amount. Manufactures data sheets for various devices. There are also uh, simulations, computer simulations in here. And uh, the answers to most of the odd questions are back in the appendices. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. What do we need for success in this sequence? You need to have a good grounding in DC circuit analysis and a good command of algebra. Familiarity with AC is also useful. If you need a simulator, I recommend using the DesignSoft Texas Instruments Tina TI. This is free. Just go to the TI website and just download this. This works for Windows. There are other options here that you can look at. So uh, when we start off here, we're going to be looking at the fundamentals, the basics of atomic structure and how this relates to silicon crystals, and how that's going to work into uh, the sort of fundamental building block, which is the PN junction. I'll see you then.